Hello and greetings from the Royal Academy of Arts in London. I'm Tim Marlowe and this is my selection of must-see shows from around the world this April. First up, Documenta, an event that takes place every five years, that's now in its 14th version, but which breaks for tradition for the first time being in two cities more than 1,500 miles apart. Documenta was founded in 1955 in Kassel to help elevate Germany from the cultural darkness of the post-war period and to engage its artists with an international art world. This year, Documenta 14 is collaborating with Greece's National Museum of Contemporary Art in Athens to host the event across the two cities. The main theme is posed as a question, how are art and its institutions made public and made part of the common good? And in choosing Greece, Documenta is asking what can be learnt from the country's recent turbulent experiences. Expect to see some important and thought-provoking works from leading international artists. Documenta 14 opens on the 8th of April in Athens and the 10th of June in Kassel. To London now, and an exhibition exploring two major artists from the Italian Renaissance. One, a household name, another who deserves to be better known, and a creative friendship that lasted for 25 years. Michelangelo and Sebastiano, a meeting of minds, presents the first ever exhibition devoted to the creative partnership between these two masters. 70 works consisting of paintings, drawings, sculptures and letters provide an opportunity to explore their complementary talents. The exhibition will offer a singular insight into their personal and professional lives against the backdrop of revolution, war and theological schism in Italy. Highlights include their first collaboration, Lamentation Over the Dead Christ, The Raising of Lazarus and Michelangelo's Taddeo Tondo on loan from our collection here at the Royal Academy. The exhibition is on now at the National Gallery in London. From 16th century Rome to contemporary Venice now, a new exhibition from one of the most notorious, but I think undisputably brilliant, contemporary artists. Damien Hirst back in a monographic show from the Francois Pinault Foundation called Treasures from the Wreck of the Unbelievable, which spans two venues, the Palazzo Grassi and at the mouth of the Grand Canal, the Punta della Dogana. So far, very little has been revealed about this project, except that it's been 10 years in the making. But what I can tell you is that it's a fantastical mixture of the make-believe, the fabricated, the historically resonant, and things you think you've seen before, but actually, you never have. The exhibition opens on the 9th of April at the Palazzo Grassi and the Punta della Dogana, giving Hearst one month ahead start on the Venice Biennale in May. And so to Boston next, and an illuminating look at the creative processes of one of the masters of colour in the entire history of Western art. Matisse in the Studio is the first major international exhibition to examine the role that objects from the artist's personal collection played in his art. Matisse believed that these objects were crucial for inspiration and likened their role in his work to that of actors in plays. On display are a selection of major works alongside nearly 40 objects from the artist's studios, including a pewter jug, an Andalusian vase, as well as textiles, sculptures and masks from the various Islamic, Asian and African traditions that he so admired. Matisse in the studio opens at the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston on the 9th of April and then travels to the Royal Academy of Arts in London in August. Another great colourist, very much in the tradition of Matisse, but also his own man, is the British artist Howard Hodgkin, who sadly died last month at the age of 84. Best known for his paintings that burst with colour and vibrant brushstrokes that appear to leap from the panel onto their frames, Hodgkin strove for what he described as maximum expression through the abstract depictions of emotions, encounters and memories. Those wishing to reflect on this artist's alchemy with paint should see Howard Hodgkin, Absent Friends, an exhibition of over 55 portraits of the artist's circle dating back over the last 60 years and featuring representations of Peter Blake, Patrick Caulfield, R.B. Kitai and others. The exhibition's open now at the National Portrait Gallery in London. So those are my must-see shows from around the world this April. I hope you can make it to see at least one of them. <laughs>